Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back with another Western North Carolina fishing report with the Nanahala Sasquatch himself, Gordon Vanderpool. How's it going, Gordon? I'm good, brother. How you doing? Just trying to stay cool and out of trouble. Staying cool is tough these days. Yeah, I imagine uh, you're starting to really see it impact the fishing. Oh yeah, yeah, it's finally happened. I mean, here we made it, so, you know, first week of July, I mean, it's, but it's definitely getting tough. And if somebody tells you it's not, they're, they're fibbing. <laughs> it, it, and is it tough because it's getting clear and low or is it, uh, in hot or what's making it tough? Is it just the normal seasonal stuff or is there anything unusual going on? No, it's kind of a compilation of everything you just said. It is getting hot. We're starting to see those, you know, mid to upper eighties on a lot of days. Um, it's hot and muggy. Uh, we aren't getting the rain we were getting. We're getting pop-up showers and stuff here and there, but no consistent like regional rainfall, which, you know, for like a day or two that really brings the streams up and then they drop slow. We're not getting much of that. So it's just pop-up thunderstorms here and there. Um, so if your streams are getting those storms every day, then, you know, they're hanging on a little better than some of the ones that aren't. Um, but yeah, that water's getting low. It's getting clear. Fish are getting spooky. It's just that time of year. It gets, starts to get tough, tough, tough. Yeah. So fish early, fish late. Yeah. Fish early, fish late is the best. Um, if you happen to luck into a day where that temperature is down a little bit, you get those afternoon clouds pop in, you know, with possible storms around, sometimes that can kick off some decent fishing. Um, but yeah, it's been tough. I mean, the most important thing guys is to fish where they are. Of course it's summertime. So you got a warmer water, no matter what water you're fishing, it's warmer than it normally is, unless you're in a tailwater. Um, so fish where they are, get in the pocket water, get in the most highly oxygenated stretch of the river, whatever that is, those fish are going to be there. Um, if you are fishing fresh stock fish somewhere on a watershed where they just stock them, once again, fish where they are. They're still going to probably put the stock fish in the pool. So fish them up, you know, fish with those guys until they get smart and move out. And other than that, you know, you want to fish where they are in those pockets, 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 and the ripples and ripples and all that stuff. Like single, single nymph and stills killing. Um, I shouldn't say killing Drip, good drifts are a must right now. Um, good, clean drifts, light tip at six and a half, seven X is pretty much normal. Um, we always tend to fish on the light side down here anyway, but seven X is pretty much the norm right now. Um, they are looking up, so that's a good thing. So if you just want to throw like a generic small atoms, uh, a fly that's really popular here locally, it's called a Jack cave hopper. That's a really good one to throw, um, or anything yellow, the stimulators still getting it done, still seeing those big yellow stones and some yellow families. So, uh, yellow is still a good option. And the green inchworms and black ants are always in play, you know, so just pay attention to what kind of critters are crawling around on the bushes as far as terrestrials go and whatever stream you're fishing and just know that when they fall in, they're getting munched on. So match them that way, you know? Yeah. I got them. And what size uh, stimulators are you looking at these days? Some of those big stones are like eights and tens. They're huge. Um, so, you know, that would be, I would say those big, big, big ones for, uh, you know, there's more backcountry locations where those fish are really opportunistic and they'll mash on those for those wild fish. Um, but definitely eights and tens for those. And then for the little sallies, that totally depends on location, but anywhere from like a 16 to a 20. You know, it just depends on what size your sallies are. Well, that's mm-hmm. awesome. That's awesome. I appreciate you giving us that update. And folks, if you have a question yeah. for Gordon, uh, shoot it to us on the Articulate Fly Facebook page and you'll get some Articulate Fly swag from me. And then I believe at the end of the season, we're going to have a drawing. If your question's been read, we're going to have a drawing. I think Gordon's going to hook the lucky winner up with some flies. Yeah, I got some critters I'll give you. There you go. And uh, of course, it wouldn't be a Nanahala Sasquatch fishing report without a most valuable medal. What have you got for us this time? Yeah, we're going back to the group Disturbed. Definitely been a fan of those guys for almost 20 years. Uh, and this song's called The Vengeful One. I think it's two, three, four years ago, something like that. It's a bad tune. It's a good one. Awesome. Well, I'll drop it in the uh, show notes in a YouTube video, guys, just like I always do. And before we go, Gordon, why don't you let folks know where they can find you so they can book and fish with you? Yeah, uh, it's flyfishingwnc.com. And uh, you can get me on there. And Instagram, Facebook, same thing, same handle. Well, that's awesome. Well, look, folks, I, you know, it's tough, but I, 
a bad day on the water on the water is uh, better than a good day at the office. So get out there and fish. Tight lines, everybody. Mm-hmm.